This is a family-run business. The Hong family invested in a car vending machine to make the most of the limited space they had. Since it opened in December, their car vending machine has gone viral. I was a bit skeptical whether you know people buy the story or not, but now seems like it become you know a, a lot of response from customers and on the same time visitors from almost different part of the world. You know, Autobahn Motors has been running for 27 years. The vending machine was a way to expand their fleet in Singapore, where land is scarce. After selecting a car on an iPad, the car you saw on screen is moved to the ground floor. It takes a maximum of two minutes. To pay is less high-tech, with the buyer likely using a checkbook or leasing it. This isn't the world's first car vending machine, but at 15 storeys high and room for 60 cars, many of which are high-end brands, Singapore can say it's home to one of the world's largest luxury car vending machines. Car vending is just the start of a whole new business for this firm. They're looking to use the concept to expand into other businesses like parking and storage. Definitely, we are now uh, thinking a bit further Instead of just selling a car, we might look into a, a consultancy. I have actually a few more things that are working with the solution partners to come up with a better solutions. That is not just uh, selling car solutions, it's, it's more of a inventories or, or, or space management solutions. It cost over $2 million to build the car tower and implement the lift system. But with supercars selling for a minimum of $200,000 in Singapore, if sales do increase because of the new system, it will be money well spent. Melanie Ralph, TRT World, Singapore.